Hi, in this video we are going to introduce the loop and a half. So to start off I want to revisit the infinite loop. So the infinite loop is a loop that runs forever. So here is a classic infinite loop. We say while true and then open brackets and then close brackets and whatever code is in there will execute forever. So true is a Boolean expression but it always evaluates to true. So that loop just keeps going. The problem with the infinite loop is that it doesn't end and what you want is a way to break out of the loop. So there's a statement called the break statement and what that does is it just quits the loop. So here I've added an if statement and I say if condition, that could be any condition, um, and if that condition is true we'll break. That means we'll quit the loop. And there's one last thing I want to introduce which is called the sentinel. So the sentinel tells us that we want to stop the loop. And here I've written sentinel in all caps showing that it's a constant value. So now what we're going to do is combine this all together to write a simple program. And the program that we're going to write is one that adds up numbers, um, but it adds up any number of numbers that the user enters until they type the sentinel value. So let's go write this in our editor. So we'll start off we'll say var sentinel equals negative one. Okay, now we say var sum is equal to zero, and we're going to use the loop and a half here. So we'll say while true, and now what we want to do every time is we want to read a value from the user. So we'll say var uh, num equals readint, enter a number, and now if that number was the sentinel value then we'll break out of the loop. So if num equal equal sentinel then break. So otherwise what we'll do is we'll say sum plus equals num. So we're adding to the sum and then what we'll do at the end we'll say print line the total was plus sum. So let's run this program. So if I enter 4 and then 15, then 3, then 108, and then 4, and then negative 1, we see that the total is 134. So let's run that again. If I enter 2, then 3, then negative 1, we see the total is 5. So here, one reason that we use the, the loop and a half form is that it avoids repeated code. See, what we want to do here is we want to keep repeating something um, until the user enters a sentinel value. If we didn't use while true and we used uh, while num is not equal to sentinel as the condition, then we would have to repeat a line of code before the loop to replicate the same effect. So this loop, uh, this loop and a half is a very common programming pattern. 